got a cut today in school, and my friend asked, what's your blood type? Did you tell her? I don't even know what that means. Is blood supposed to have a type? Yes, it does. And your blood type is something very special. But the doctor also said I'm O positive. What does that even mean? Am I missing something? <laughs> Not at all, sweet pea. That just means your blood is one of the most helpful kinds. Well, why do we even have different blood types? That is a story written inside your blood cells. Want to hear it? Only if you promise to explain the plus and minus too. Imagine your red blood cells as tiny delivery trucks zooming through your body, carrying oxygen. Zoom, zoom! But those trucks wear flags, called antigens. That's what decides your blood type. Antigens? Aren't those the bad guys? Not always. These ones are like your body's ID cards. They show that your blood belongs to you. So it's like every blood cell wears a tiny uniform? Exactly. Type A wears A, type B wears B, AB wears both, and O wears none. I'm O, so my cells go undercover? Yes, and that's what makes you a universal donor. What about the plus in O plus? Ah, that's the RH factor, a secret bonus badge. If your cells have it, you're RH positive. And some people don't have it? Right, they're RH negative. And just like with A or B, your body only likes its own team. Now imagine, someone with type A gets blood from type B. The immune system says, hey, that's not my team, and attacks it. Like a secret club. Wrong badge, no entry. Exactly. That's why doctors match blood before transfusions. But mama, aren't antigens bad? Not when they're your antigens. Your body learns to love them. But how does it know? When you were still a tiny baby in the womb, your immune system made a safe list. It said, A, B, R, H, these are me. Where do these flags come from? Your genes decide them. The ABO gene prints your red blood cells uniform. So I inherited my blood from you and dad? Yes, it's your genetic signature. But why do we even have different blood types? Because of evolution. Thousands of years ago, blood types helped protect people from diseases, like malaria or cholera. So blood types are like armor from the past? Exactly. And as people moved around the world, their blood adapted to new threats. So our blood remembers? Yes, it remembers who you are even before you were born. That's how your body knows what to protect and what to fight. That's beautiful. Your blood carries more than oxygen. It carries memory. So if I donate blood, do I give someone part of myself? Yes, that's why blood donation is one of the kindest things a person can do. I want to do that someday. Mama, isn't it amazing? My blood came from people who lived before me? Yes, sweetheart. It carries history, love, and life. You're made of a thousand stories. Can I become a doctor and protect those stories? You already are, my little healer. And my blood knew me even before I knew myself. That's the most beautiful part. What's your blood type? Did you know it carries your story? Share with us in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Kitty Nest, your own happy place.